So today's tutorial is about the Arduino command line interface that was announced on August 24. Uh, the CLI is basically giving you the option of doing whatever you can do within the Arduino IDE, like creating a new sketch, compile it, and upload it to the your preferred board by doing it from a command line. Um, it can be used to compile things faster without having to need to open your actual visual um, editor. And the same goes, of course, for uploading a pre-compiled file. So let's dive to see how it works and what do we need to do to get it work. This is the Arduino CLI GitHub repository. I'm going to put the link in the description. Now, if you scroll down a little bit, you will get to the how-to. And you, can get, you are given here a full explanation of what to do and how to do. And today I'm going to just show you how actually to do it. I'm on a Windows system, so I'm going to download this file. You can either download it or you can build it yourself. I haven't tried building it myself. I prefer to take the one that's pre-built. As you can see, latest stable release is not available yet. So here is the zip file that we downloaded, and here is the file inside, and I'm going to drag it into a folder that I preferred, that I prepared before. One thing I do suggest is that you change the name into just Arduino CLI. All the examples are shown as Arduino CLI, it just makes it a little bit easier. Now let's go see how to get it to work. So now let's get it to working. So as you can see, I'm in its path, and I'm just going to do CMD, which of course in return will open a command prompt for us. Now let's check how it works. Arduino CLI. Some really nice feature about Arduino CLI is that they got help in everything. So whenever you type minus eight, you're just going to get help. And you can see these are the available commands. And we're going to use some of them now by creating a new sketch and uploading it. So let's follow the instructions that are on the, uh, on the page and see how it works. So I'm going to copy the first command, which is this one. And then I'm just going to run it. Oh, my mouse is going crazy. My first sketch. OK. As you can see, sketch is created in, in documents Arduino. One thing really important, and I tested it before, if you don't have the Arduino folder within your documents, this is going to fail. The settings are within the config, and you can do just, if you like, you can do Arduino, sorry, Arduino CLI config dump. And you can see the setting. And as you can see, the sketch path is here can be changed by the config, but I'm not going to go into it. I just gave you the, the location of it, and you can look into it. So as you can see, I got my first sketch and my first sketch I know uh, files file in, in my documents Arduino, as I mentioned before. The good thing of using Sketch New is that it, it saves you from the hassle of creating a folder and then creating a file with the I know inside, because you know Arduino is kind of picking that way. So now we're going to edit it, and this is the file itself, and I'm going to replace this with the example of the Blink, of course. And I'm going to save this, and this is, this is the end of like editing it, and now I want to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to compile and upload it. So let's go back to the command line. Now the confusing part of using the CLI is that unlike the Arduino IDE, here we need to work a little bit to get things working. So let's just follow the, the steps as they're shown in the, the help page. So we're going to first update the core indexes. Let's run this. And it says update indexes of the package index, index JSON download. Fine, we're done with that. The next step is to see what boards are connected. I have an UNO connected to, to here to my uh, computer. So as you can see, it does discovery. Now, once it's done discovering, I'll show you something interesting. Notice the FQBN and the board name are missing. And that's because right now the CLI is missing the right information for its core. And that's for the next step that talks about installing the right core. In order to find the right core, we're going to do some search. And we're going to start by searching Arduino. So let's do that. And you can see we're getting a lot of 
uh, options and maybe we're a bit confused we're not sure about it so let's look for uno of course this is what i've got connected as you can see when i'm looking for uno we'll get one response which is arduino avr which makes sense we're using arduino and it's from an avr family so let's see how to install this specific board in order to install a core uh, for arduino cli we'll use the core install and then we use arduino avr which is what we found here and i'm going to just press enter and you can see it's installing great now that we installed the right core for it so let's list all the boards and see if we get a match so it's now i'm going to do discovering again let's wait for a second and now you can see the fqbn is really specific it says that it's arduino avr and it's uno and the board name is arduino so there's of course Arduino uno Arduino uh, uno whatever you however you pronounce that um, one thing I'm really curious about is what happens if we get a clone that does not uh, recognize itself properly as an UNO. I'm, I'm going to test it maybe later. That's a really interesting question. So now after we set everything up, all we need to do is to compile the file and then upload it. So let's start by compiling it. As you can see here in the example, it says compile and gives the FQBN, which is this part. And I did the same, it's Arduino CLI compile, FQBN, and, and we have an Arduino AVR Uno, as you can see here, and I'm asking it to compile the first sketch, and now let's press enter, and we get an error. Okay, after doing a little bit of research after you've, done, after you've seen my last error, uh, I don't know what I've messed up, but uh, somehow the relative path of wherever I'm compiling the sketch got all messed up. So as long as I'm compiling within documents, so then it's documents I'm doing on my sketch, it works. So I'm just going to finish the tutorial and then I'm going to see how to work it out. So here is the command Arduino CLI compile and then giving it the right board type and specific board to compile. And as you can see here, this is from the example. This is what I've copied. So let's correct this to a VR and UNO. And let's compile it. Bill open chance, rebuilding all. As you can see, it's been built. So now let's move to uploading it to the board. So now after we compile the data, let's upload it. And we're doing it by using the Arduino CLI upload. Uh, the minus P, of course, is the port we're using COM3 that comes out of here. Again, the FQBN, which we've seen before. Go for Arduino AVR Uno, and it goes to this folder. And now let's ask it to, to upload it. And it's done. It's not giving any output, but he, it's really has really nice, cool features of giving you certain types of output that allows you to, to hook this up to other applications. So I'm gonna show you a video of the of the Arduino Uno blinking. And as you can see, the board is blinking. As I mentioned before, uh, when we showed the video is that we can output things in a JSON format, which is an excellent way to uh, communicate in between softwares. Um, in the announcement, they're giving the example of showing the library search. We haven't touched libraries. I'm gonna do that in a different tutorial. Uh, but I'm do going to show it to you on the board list, the same as we've done before. And note now, when I'm sending it, it doesn't do the discovery because the JSON has to come back in a specific format. And now we're getting the JSON back with giving us the Arduino, the FQBN, the port. Everything is there so we can use it in different platforms or an IDE or whatever we want to use it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and we find it useful. If so, please like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel.